I miss my dull knives. I sent my knives in for sharpening, so I'll be without for a few weeks. I had to get creative in the kitchen and learn to appreciate even very dull knives. Number 65. I miss my knives. Late January 2024. I know I'm holding what looks like a knife while I'm telling you I miss my knives. We have two very old, cheap IKEA knives that we've kept for all the things you don't do with good knives. Opening packages, cutting plastic, stuff like that. Now even cutting fat is too much. The farm where we buy most of our groceries had a few kilos of lard that had expired a few weeks earlier. I'd bought lard there before, so they asked if I wanted it to see if it was still good. Essentially free lard? Yes, absolutely, I did. I know there are many ways to render lard. I am no expert, but this approach works well for me. I add the fat to the pot on a very low temperature and continually remove the browning crackling. The super low temperature means it takes forever, but it also means I don't have to pay as much attention to it. I can do other things like start some disgusting looking milk a few grains or leave the room. When I was a kid, my mom used to take us to these weird events called Night's Feasts. I always enjoyed eating without cutlery, making a complete mess, but the highlight was always the schmaltz. Apples, onions and crackling and lard. It was spread over sourdough bread. I admit, I didn't even know what it was. With two knives that were a little more than flat metal, I decided to let Marvin do the chopping. With onions and apples chopped in the machine, making the schmaltz would be done in no time. Right. And then I realized I couldn't use a different bowl even when I wasn't using a hook. Ah, darn it. Now I had to figure out how to get the bowl emptied of the rising sourdough bread. So I got my hands wet and into the dough. I couldn't find the container I used to rice dough in when the size matters. But even after locating it and moving the dough over, the bowl was a sticky mess and the sink full. So I let the bowl dry and chopped some of the apples and onions, or rather butchered apples and onions. People tell me I'm good at planning and organizing. In the kitchen, I'm definitely a mess. It's why I prefer learning and understanding to recipes. I can't follow them anyway. When I get my knives back, I won't take them for granted. I can tell you that. While I waited to be able to clean the bowl, I prepared the rest of the onions and apples for Marvin. The good thing about this knife, even I can't manage to hurt myself with it. When the bowl was finally available, I, well, okay, the machine made quick work of everything. Fun fact, shredding onions is a great way to induce tears. As I knew I wouldn't get my knives back for a while, I chopped all the onions we had left. I decided to dry almost all of them. I set aside some for dinner, then added them to the dehydrator sheets. The rest of the dehydrator got filled up with shredded apples. My husband and I took turns checking on the schmaltz, and by the afternoon, it was done. I added some salt to the mix, then ladled the final product into two jars.
two large jars of schmaltz. And as my husband hates the stuff, all for me. Yay. I'd also gotten three and a half jars of neutral art. So worth it. After sending my laptop in for repairs, they forgot to put a little part back in. Perfect quality assurance. Luckily, we paid attention to at-home repairability when choosing the company. So they shipped the little clip and I attached it myself. I'm glad to be comfortable with computers. Computers look a lot different now than they did when I learned to build them as teenagers. I sound old now. I grew up in the 90s in Germany. I had records and tape, but I also had a computer at age six. Everything is a lot smaller and a lot fiddlier now. I'm still a lot more confident with a screwdriver and laptop than with fermentation. I finally had the time and brain to read more of the art of natural cheese making. And how could cheese be simpler? Milk, thyme, and later some salt. Now I've got my first fresh cheese. In another episode of I Miss My Knives, I tried to make stuffing or dressing without a bread knife. Fun. I guess the knives are dull enough that I managed to hurt my joints because I needed too much pressure. They really can't be called knives. Still better than nothing, I don't think I could have pulled stale bread. Somehow I forced the bread into a semblance of cubes and a lot of crumbs, but this was a workout and hard on the joints. Have I mentioned that I miss my knives? And considering I miss their dull form, I can hardly imagine having sharp knives soon. As I had dried onions from the day before, I only had to butcher some garlic. I don't know why it makes such a difference that I am the one who dried these onions. But somehow it feels special to open a jar with something I preserved. I guess it's like the difference between a meal cooked from scratch and a ready-made meal. Connected to the process, I appreciate the food much more. I have dried these onions, I have cooked this vegetable broth, I grew the parsley, powdered the zucchini. Thanks to preservation over the month, I got to prepare for dinner so much faster. Time I might even be able to add my own eggs. No, I still haven't decided on getting chickens. So long and thanks for being here.